Let's play with some of the decorative features on the Singer Simple Soy Machine. So you do notice that actually there's quite a few stitches that can be stitched out and be a decorative edge. I want to start off with the scalloped stitch because I want to show you what you need to know about this stitch. Notice it is one of the black stitches, so that means I do have control over the stitch length. So if you just pick that stitch and whatever stitch length it is, you're going to notice that you kind of get this weird zigzag. It doesn't look any like the picture. And that's because this stitch is meant to be stitched much closer together. So I'm going to actually just kind of turn it as I go until I see my stitches really getting close together. Not too close that they pile up. The other thing is, is I also switched over and I have some variegated thread on the machine. So now these stitches are going to actually look even more fun. And I kind of always recommend to my students is to take some time and stitch out each of the stitches. And you'll see, here's where I started, didn't look like anything, but the closer I brought that stitch length together, the more it looked like the stitch that I was hoping for. So even just with some fun threads and taking the time, let's go ahead and do the green one right next to it. Remember when you're on the S setting, you don't have any settings you have to worry about. Just pick the stitch and then turn it to the one you want. And how about for fun? I'm going to bring my needle up out of the fabric. There we go. I'll turn it to the red S2 to get a different stitch altogether. But what's neat is, is it's not going to look like a normal stitch because of the fun variegated thread that's on the machine right now. So all three of the stitches on that one area are stitched out here on the fabric. So you definitely see some fun uses that you can do. Actually, those last two look about the same. So they do, <laughs> I don't see any different. I guess those are the same. But even if we go back, how about that one right before it? Why not? We're all set up. All we have to do is pick this stitch and this one will look even more fun. Again, variegated thread. I love it because it really gives your stitches a fun pop. And do you know you can actually stitch on paper? So if you're looking to do a little card decorating, some scrapbook looks, you could easily go around um, a picture or create your own shapes all while sewing on paper, just like you would sew on fabric.